Good morning, my name is Nerimara Tis Otero. I'm an author for the recent Polish paper in Orco Target, Cancer Astre Paulas Confer Shear Resistance to Circulating Tumor Cells during prostate cancer metastasis progression. Today, I'm gonna give a little information about this study and what other findings we had uh, that allow us to go to this kind of uh, research study. To give a little information about myself, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. I did my bachelor's degree in University of Rico at Mayagüez campus in industrial biotechnology. After I graduated from my PhD, from my bachelor's degree, I applied to a PhD program Cornell University in Biomedical Engineering. My PhD degree is about the analysis and targeting of circulating cells in metastatic cancer patients. Cancer is the second leading cause of death worldwide, where metastasis is responsible of about 90% of these cancer-related deaths. Cancer metastasis is a process where the tumor cells migrate from the primary location to form a secondary tumor in distant organs. During this process, the tumor cells has to detach from the primary tumor, in travels in invade the tumor stroma, and in travels it into the into the blood vasculature. When the tumor cells are in the blood vasculature, these are known as circulating tumor cells, and these will travel in the bloodstream until these find a permissive environment to grow and form secondary tumor. These circulating tumor cells may travel as single CTCs or as CTCs aggregates, which is composed by tumor cells, but also by stromal cells, as for example, cancer-associated fibroblasts. Cancer-associated fibroblasts, known as CAF, is one of the main components of the tumor microenvironment. It can compose up to 80% of the solid tumor. This kind of cells can promote cancer migration, can promote cancer progression by several mechanisms. For example, it can promote tumor cells proliferation, it can promote that resistance to cell death, or it can promote cancer invasion and migration. The function of CAFs have, well, have been well established by the literature in the primary and in the secondary tumor. However, it still is not clear whether CAF assists in the CTC transit leading to the worsening clinical outcome in cancer patients. Um, in, during my PhD degree, I had the chance to analyze, isolate and analyze circulating tumor cells and cancer-associated fibroblasts from blood samples collected from metastatic cancer patients. In this project, we found that high level of cancer associated fibroblasts correlate with the worsening clinical outcome in this cohort of patients, suggesting the potential use of this as a cancer prognosis biomarker in blood sample collected from cancer patients. Based on this kind of results in the strong correlation that we observe between the, the level of cancer associated fibroblasts and the worsening clinical outcome in these metastatic cancer patients, we decided to look a little bit closer about the function of this function of caps in the blood Stream. What is the role of these of caps in the bloodstream in cancer metastasis? That's the main reason why we decided to, to initiate this study that we published, we recently published in Uncotarget. In this study, we demonstrated that when the caps are interacting with tumor cells in cells, aggregate, aggregates has CTC aggregates that can be released by primary tumors in a patient. These kind of uh, these kind of aggregates basically caps promote the tumor cells survival when these are experiencing high fluid shear stress. Also, CAS basically in this aggregate form protect the proliferation capabilities of these tumor cells when these are experiencing a high fluid shear stress, which promotes cancer progression by facilitating the colonization of distant organs. So here in this paper, we found one of the role of these in the bloodstream, which is facilitating the survival of tumor cells in the bloodstream, so these can seed and form secondary tumor in distant organs. This kind of study explored the function of these caps in the bloodstream, but in a specific prostate cancer disease. However, we do not believe that this kind of behavior could happen in another type of carcinoma. Now, looking to future direction, we would like to explore a little bit more about the role of caps in the bloodstream in other carcinoma and how we can develop a therapeutic approach to target this calf population in the bloodstream. If these, if caps are necessary to form 
are metastasis if CAPS are one of the cells um, that uh, promote the tumor cell survival in the bloodstream. If we target this kind of population in the bloodstream, we may have a chance to prevent cancer metastasis. So in the future direction, we would like to explore a little bit more about how we can develop this therapeutic approach to target this calf, this calf population and eliminate these in the bloodstream. Thank you for listening. And just going to the end of my talk, I would like to thank all my funding sources, has NSF, this long fellowship, that they were a really crucial part to complete my PhD. I also would like to thank my advisor, Dr. Michael King. He has been an amazing advisor and during this whole process and to shape in the scientists that I am right now. I also would like to thank all the lab, the keen lab members, the people that I work with in the research lab because we it's a really collaborative environment to work with. And I think every student was part of my progress and part of my work. And I also would like to thanks to my comedy advisor, Dr. David Connam and Dr. Tracy Stock because they were also a crucial part of my PhD dissertation and my PhD studies. And finally, I would like to thank to the diversity program at Cornell University that has been an amazing support group for diverse students at the university. And I'm really thankful for all the advice, all the support that I have received from them since day one. Thank you.